my pleasure to interview you and welcome to Hong Kong. Uh, pleasure's mine. <laughs> so um, you've been well known as sharing the um, Storm Shadow in the first movie, the G.I. Joe. It's now you're alive again in the second one. How does it feel like? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead in uh, the first, but uh, I survived. Yeah. So I need to show uh, a little more uh, dark and uh, I need to train hard, harder, and I need to uh, uh, desperately uh, try to uh, uh, train uh, so that I could uh, revenge. So it'll be more um, stronger and darker. Yeah. And um, so in this movie, which character do you work mostly with? Was it um, Snake Eyes again? Of course. <laughs> He's my. Uh, eternal enemy yeah <laughs> but you'll see uh, some kind of unexpected uh, story in this movie are you like um tired of fighting with snake snake guys you just want to get rid of him <laughs> yeah because um i need to uh, uh survive and i need to revenge him much more than the first one so for me Emotion and my anger was more important than um, how to I, how to fight. It's not about how to fight. It's about my anger and my emotions. So uh, it's more dr dramatic. We've just seen the 3D trailer. Mm -hmm. How do you think about it? I think it's amazing. Well, that, that was amazing uh, for me too. Uh, I, I saw it first for the first time today, and it was really good. I didn't expect that, but um, that was really good. Was it your first time to shoot a, a, a 3D movie? Yeah, actually, I, I, I did it before actually, but uh, it was not a movie. It's a uh, commercial film. Oh. But. Uh, uh, yeah, this is my first time making uh, a 3D movie uh, in my life. So about like the martial arts, the kicks, it's amazing and wow. Like, I know you've learned Taekwondo before, mm -hmm. and for this movie, did you do all the stunts yourself? Yeah, there were, I need to learn a lot of things actually. For the first uh, Judge One, uh, I need to learn how to uh, treat the sword. Sword fighting. Yeah. And the second one, I need to fight with the Sai. That was my first time too. Yeah. Every time I do G.I. Joe, I need to learn a lot. But basically, I do Taekwondo, so... It's easier for you. <laughs> yeah, easier for me. By any chance, you get hurt while filming this movie? Yeah, I lost my nail, but... I got no one. Was it through <laughs> like punching people or it's yeah, just... yeah, I don't remember that, but I I I, I saw my fingers turn black. Yeah. Was it painful? Yeah, at the time it was so painful, but uh, I could I could get over it. <laughs> but when I filmed for the Judge first, Judge one. I uh, I got injured by my uh, my uh, ligament. Oh. It was ripped. So I need to take some time to take rest. But fortunately, I had a uh, few days uh, off, so I could get over it at the time. Yeah. But not this time. So I want to really know, like, you showed your abs mm -hmm. in the GI Joe too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long did you like train up that really six packs? That was kind of hard because um, my uh, the location of Joe jo was New Orleans, and New Orleans is face famous for the food. Yeah, it's mostly fried. I really wanted to try it, but I couldn't try it at all because I need to be on a diet so strictly. Oh, there's nothing to do, you know. Um, New Orleans is fam famous for the fried food and then, you know, a lot of alcohol. But I couldn't do both, so um, I had a hard time. Hard time, but amazing sexy body, <laughs> which amazes every woman, yeah. of course. Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you have any um, actor, like movie, action movie star actor that you admired and would like to portray? Of course, Bruce Lee. Oh. <laughs> and I also like Jackie Chan, and personally too. And of course, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Yeah, I grew up uh, with his amazing action movies. So it, that was really a great experience to work with him. So Bruce Willis, you're working with him again in another movie. Yeah, I just Red finished two. my uh, uh, new project, Red 2, in London. Yeah, it was a few days ago. I still got, I'm still living in uh, London time. Oh, jet lagging. <laughs> How was um, that movie compared to this one? As you know, the Red 2 is um, action comedy. So it's basically comic uh, drama. So um, uh, it was a, a little harder than this, actually, because comedy has to be based on, you know, the culture. So um, I need to uh, try to adjust their culture so that I could show my comic actions. Yeah. But it was really good, great experience. I know that it's been a really great year for you, and then you have a lot of like coming up Hollywood movies, and then um, you've announced that you have you're in love in August. Right? <laughs> <laughs> everything is going so well. Everything, everything has happened so uh, at the same time. So I'm still dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming too fast, right? Yeah, so, oh, life is so complicated. Yeah, but it's really happy to have a good career and love life, relationship. Yeah. So what about um, for the future? Is there any big plans for you? I need to promote three movies, actually. Oh. One is, uh, you know, Masquerade, the Korean movie, Korean period movie. It, uh, it did a lot of huge success in Korea. Um, and I, I need to promote for a lot of Asian country, including Japan and somewhere else. And also, GI Joe 2 is gonna open on uh, the, the late March. So I need to promote that. And maybe summertime, I need to promote Red 2. Very yes. busy. Yeah. Are you looking forward to have any vacations? Hope so. If I have time, because uh, I've been working like a few years non-stop. So maybe people told me that you need some rest. So I'm thinking about it. Okay, thank you so much and all the best for you for the future.